St Albans nil, Worthing one. Adam, where do you even begin with that? Yeah, I, I, I thought the game, like first half, we was very disappointed. Um, Pass the ball with no sort of purpose. Um, you know, nowhere near our sort of standards that we set. Um, a slight tweak to our shape second half, and it seemed to help us. We really sort of played a lot more like our second half, um, creating a lot more chances. I thought a lot of the game was played in their half of the pitch. Um, yeah, and obviously a moment of brilliance from from Lewis, um, unbelievable strike and a, a good save from Harrison. Um, but. Yeah, I just said to the lads there, the, the scary thing about us is that we're not really firing on all cylinders at the moment, in my opinion, in terms of how we're playing. Um, and I think we've got, you know, when we're seven games in now, when we've still got too many players that are not up to a speed that can last 90 minutes and you know, lots cramping up and, and stuff like that. So we've got to find a way to get more players up to speed. Um, if we just look at like Kane's running and his. You know, his, his mental sort of approach to the game, he's, he's switched on throughout the game and we need a few more on that sort of page in my opinion, but um, you know, you can't fault the, uh, the lads' effort, uh, you know, three late goals we've got now, um, we can't keep relying on that also, but it just shows the spirit and endeavour that this team's got. Absolutely, I mean you talk about Kane there, his, his engine these first couple of games it seems to be crazy, he's non-stop. Um, how important it is it to have someone like him, experience at this level, the work rate he's got? Like, it's got to be such a help. Kane's been brilliant. Um, you know, we was hoping to have him last season, but it wasn't to be. Um, but I think, if anything, that's given him a bit more of a, a hunger to, to, to enjoy his time out on the pitch. And he certainly looks like he's playing with enjoyment. Um, like I say, he's covered every play of grass here tonight. Uh, and also, you know, his, his quality is getting on the ball and, and dictating games for us as well, which is which is which is vital for us and, and how we want to play. But um, no, yeah, like I say, there's there's a few that we need to get up to, to his sort of speed and tempo, um, and that's not just running, but also you know mentally as well, staying concentrated throughout the game. It's crucial we do that at this level. His yeah, you can see he's got the experience at this level. He knows this level very well. Obviously, we played here a few years, so it's a big help. How much of a help would it be to have a few extra players in the midfield? Obviously, you talk about a few players struggling to get up to speed. Uh, Danny Barker had a few issues with fitness early on. Obviously, there's a few rumours about Jesse Starkey. Do you think there may be the need for a couple extra people in the midfield? Uh, no, I think we've got the, the quality there, even with Marv going. Uh, we've got Comrade, who's, who's been excellent. We've got Sammy, Danny Barker and Kane. I think you know, it's, it's good quality here. Um, you know, It's just a case of them getting up to speed. And you know, I don't know how we're going to do that, but we've got to find a way with games now approaching. Some of them almost need like a, a mini pre-season and, and get some sharpness back in their legs. And I think that hopefully comes with, with playing games. Um, even like the two set and a half today, like come well, clean sheet, but you know, I still think they're to get up to speed. Um, you know, Tutty's cramping and stuff and, and filling it and stuff. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of players, Cal Keeley's got managing a, a slight issue on his knee at the moment. Um, so yeah, like I say, you can't fault their effort and they keep going, but we need to find a way for them to get to get sharper. It really couldn't be a better start. I mean, on paper, we had to be you know, delighted with this. First seven games of the season, unbeaten, new team in the league. Like, like you say, it's all about the endeavour of the players, surely. Yeah, it is, you know, full credit to them. Um, they've really embraced it. They've worked hard for the last three or so years and, you know, gone to some um, not brilliant facilities um, to, to, to warrant to come and play on a pitch like this and grounds like this. You know, we've been to Dartford, um, St Albans. I think there's a definite improvement in, in the quality of the pitch and and you know big crowd here again today. Um, you know, unbelievable following from us and uh, you know we've worked hard to, to get to play at this level. Um, now we've got to really enhance everything that we do and um, I still think there's more to come. I still think that we can give more. Um, you know. Like I say, the concentration and stuff, and um, yeah, but we're learning all the time as we go, and you know, we'll, we'll carry on to, to improve, and that's what this group of players continue to do. Just to run it back to the game, I, wow, Lewis White, like you say, an individual bit of brilliance that was. Taught me through that through your eyes. I mean, that must have been a relief for one, but how yeah. was that for you? No, I thought before that we had some really good, good opportunities, some good chances. Um, I doubt we had many shots on target again today for the amount of final third entries we're getting is, is nowhere near good enough um, and we've got to, got to look at it, we've got to be better. Um, but yeah, delighted that you know Lewis had one before that, he tried to 
be a bit um, try to guide it and go for a bit more guile. But this one, he just put his foot through it, and you know, no keeper saving that. And you know, I just like to mention Harrison as well. His saves have been vital for us. Um, Dartford, when we was one nil down, he kept us at one nil down with a one to one. Um, his penalty save today, um, you know, he's. He's playing at a really, really good level, um, and you know, I'm delighted he's got another clean sheet for his name. He deserves it as well. He's been phenomenal this season. Um, it's been an excellent start for him. Is that three clean sheets now for him so far? Yeah, I think that's it. Three, three out of seven. So. It's you know, it's a phenomenal start for him, and yeah, like you say, he got his rewards today with the, with the penalty save. Uh, heroics for him. No, yeah, he's been excellent. Um, you know, there's probably a handful of players I think you know, not being disrespectful that. Are, are playing to the top of their game at the moment, um, and he's definitely one of them. Um, you know, I still think there's more to come from from a lot of players, and you know, it's sort of me thinking that the, the players have, have got to look at themselves and, and demand more. And we've got to demand more this week in the training pitch. And you know, now what we need to do is back it up with a, a good good performance again um, at home. Our performances, I thought against Dover and Chippenham were good. Didn't quite get the result on the day, but good performances. It was nowhere near the level at Eastbourne. Um, but second half today is much more like us and uh, that's what we want to um, inspire to, to get into to next week's game. Yes, definitely something to build on. Um, I mean, yeah, a thrilling game in the end. That last five minutes must have been a relief, obviously, because it got us the result. But for you, it must have been a, been a nightmare as a manager to, to go, through, go through all of that. No, yeah. Uh, yes, it's, it's like you can never leave a Worthing game early, can you? Um, so many highs and lows throughout the game, um, you know. But I'm always one to, to, to focus on us and, and what we can improve on. And there's loads for us to improve on. Um, our tempo on the ball, first half in particular, was, was nowhere near good enough. But one thing that I don't think you can work too much on is the spirit of the players and you know the, the spirit that they show to keep working and keep grafting and and, and you know never say die. And you know at this level now to to turn draws into wins by some heroics by a few players is, is, is phenomenal and you know full credit full credit to them and, but you know we can't keep relying on the last five minutes of games we've got to put games to bed.